What's up, King fam? Welcome back. Hope you guys are having a wonderful Wednesday. Thank you so much for being here. If this is your first time visiting the channel, welcome. My name is Dennis. It is a pleasure to have you. So I just finished doing the battles between uh, Lennon and Tanner. I was very surprised to see that uh, that Lennon was kept, but I'm very glad that Tanner was stolen by Gwen. I think that's going to be awesome. We could we could literally see those two guys duke it out again later on in the season. But this video is my reaction to my guy, my dude. This man is awesome. Talk to him from time to time. Incredible talent. Mr. DJ Young and Mr. Ephraim Owens. I do not know Mr. Ephraim. They, it says here they're going to be using their silky smooth voices to take on Justin Timberlake's Cry Me a River. <laughs> that Timberlake produced track, uh, Timberland produced track from back in the day for Timberlake. Let's see what uh, let's see what DJ and Ephraim do with this song. Who wins the battle? They're both on Team Legend. Who wins the battle? And does someone get stolen, or is it the end of the road for somebody? Let's find out. Before we do, please make sure that you subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, make sure notifications are turned on. You do not want to miss out on future reactions. Check out the description box below this video. You will find links to all of our social media. Check those out. Give us a follow. Drop your comments and your thoughts down in the comment section. Who do you think won the battle? Did the judge make the right choice? If there's a steal here, did the if multiple people try to steal? Did the contestant make the right choice? I don't know what happens. You guys tell me your thoughts at the end of all of it. Uh, without further delay, let's go ahead and get started. Once again, allow me to thank you all for being here. Hope you're having a wonderful Wednesday. And with that, let's get started. Hey. 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 Okay, Ephraim. Okay. Come on, DJ. Okay. Woo! Okay, okay. So Ephraim went a little bit lower. He and now uh, DJ. You know the song goes that crashing down. No, it goes up. DJ can go up high to the sky. That's what he did. Uh, looks like they're both doing the double part that you don't have to say. You don't have to say. Then the high part. That didn't sound good. Come on. I'm not really digging this song for them to be singing. I feel like both of these guys have totally different voices that don't really go along with this song. You know, I was excited for this song, but I feel like both of these guys are so good at holding out notes and doing a bunch of riffs and runs that this song is so choppy. Not a lot of sustained notes to do the runs that these guys are really. Well, I don't know if Ephraim is known for it, but I know DJ can do a lot of holding out notes, a lot of riffs, a lot of runs in there. This song doesn't really allow for that. So I, I was excited about the song, but now I don't feel like it's a good song for them to be battling to. It's not really highlighting. It's not really highlighting their voices. DJ is doing his, uh, he's definitely doing his stage presence things that he does. And he was hitting on the higher parts there. There you go. I like DJ on the high part.
Looks like they're giving Ephraim a chance to kind of go bigger with his chest voice here. I hope DJ gets the same gets the same opportunity to really hit some big parts right here. There we go. That's my dude. Yeah. Wow, look at the size difference between them. That Ephraim's a big old dude, honey. <laughs> Ooh. See, that's their, that's their strength right there to be able to hold the notes out and riff and run up and down. That's their strength. A song that's... That didn't really... The song's so choppy to be able to do that. Uh, but I'm glad they had a chance right there at the end to hit those harmonies and stuff. I'm partial to DJ because I know my guy and I've been following him for a couple of years. I don't know who... I don't know who, who John would pick in this. Just because of how it was how it was structured, I don't know who he would look at as who won the battle. Me, I'm picking DJ no matter what. But I also believe that whoever gets let go is going to get stolen too. So let's find out what happens, shall we? Woo! Wow. High harmony, baby. Let's go. I will say one thing. Although I don't like the song to really highlight their voices, I feel like the... Um, I feel like the performance was off the charts. Great stage presence, a lot of energy. My knock on the song is my knock on the song is not knocking on them singing. I just I was excited for the song, but come to find out, I don't think it's a good song for them. But the performance was great. Yes, fellas. Wow. I'm going DJ with a win. You guys are really terrific together. DJ I with the win. The way you guys engage the audience. It's like you've been doing this for years together. Thank you so much. DJ, I loved your vocals. Your range is out of sight. Ephraim, your attitude was really good. Ephraim, rocking. not Ephraim. I okay. loved it. Ephraim. Why do I have to choose? You don't have to choose, but you can recommend. Golly. Right now, I'd say Ephraim because I liked his attitude. DJ was just terrific also. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's a battle right there. I feel like one of those like dance movies, you know, like a dance battle or something. <laughs> <laughs> hey! When you Tonight, you suckers got served. <laughs> what y'all know about Turbo, though? Hey. You guys were in harmony together. Breaking. electric. Tell you what, Johnny Boy's team is stacked up. Um, hey, hey, that's how we do it, Team Legend. Let's go. Let's go. I just think some of those runs that DJ did were just insane. I just mm -hmm. lean a little bit more towards DJ, to be honest with you, Johnny. Okay, now, so I don't know what Nile was listening to on his guy's performance, but I, I agree with Nile on this one. I really love just knowing that you have this gift inside of you and you just want to share it so desperately. And it was just this magical artistry, you know? And Ephraim, you have a really good ability to work the stage and really be like commanding with your facial expressions. That takes a lot of talent and it's just something that's in you. DJ, equally, you did the same thing. It's just different personalities. I mean, you are like, <laughs> so <laughs> it's his problem, not mine. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> All right, Johnny, got the final decision. Give us some thoughts on the battle first. Both of you have such different voices. So, DJ, I'm going to go with the win. Whoever loses is probably going to get stolen, though. But the way you were able to just be really in sync with each other, in sync. I didn't mean to say ah! that. <laughs> but um, that was like, take you to a better place. You oh, that's funny because it's a Justin Timberlake. Carrying on. Like an unintentional dad joke. That's what happens when you're <laughs> a kid. Ephraim, your tone is rich and has depth to it. It was just fun to see you doing all the things that make you yourself. And then DJ, your voice is just elastic. It can do so many amazing things. Your range is crazy. That's what makes this hard because both of you could do really well in this competition. Wow, John. DJ. Like the praise for both of your artists. DJ. An even more difficult decision. Who is the winner of this battle? The winner of this battle, DJ. Is DJ. My guy. 
my guy, my dude. Let's go. DJ versus Ethan. Both of these guys are such talented performers. DJ is such a great tenor. His background as a musical Much theater love, my artist guy. has helped him be really flexible and just show up. Thank you so much. Great work. Exactly. Great work. Yeah. <laughs> I think DJ is definitely going to be a threat in the knockouts because his voice is so good and he can do anything. Well done, DJ. Huh? Great. So good. My guy, DJ Young. Proud of you, my dude. Proud of you, man. Yeah. I'm going to the three way knockouts, maybe. Let's go. All the way. Let's go. Coach, I'm reminding you that Let's Ethan go. is available to steal. Ephraim, anything you want to say to John? Thank you for all the wisdom that you've been able to pour into us. Does nobody steal him? Oh, man. Us. And you are my favorite coach. Ah, thank you. Give it up thank for you, Ephraim Owens. So he doesn't get stolen. No one chose to steal him. So this is the end of the road for Ephraim. Ladies and gentlemen, the talent so far in the battles are out of this world. And I didn't steal Ephraim because I still had my eye on someone else. Yeah, who you got your eye on, huh? Huh? Who you got your eye on, Reba? Reba scheming over there, trying to get that dub on season one. Uh, <clears throat> I've already said this before, so I'm not going to go into a very long post, uh, post watch, um, talk or reaction or whatever. Um, but I mean, I was very excited about that song, but then I remembered their voices. I, like I said, I don't know Ephraim, but I remember DJ's voice. That was not a good battle song for them. Does not give them the opportunity to really hold out the notes and stuff. Um, so I'm glad they had a chance to do the, the harmony and stuff right there at the end, doing the little runs and stuff, uh, hold out the notes. Cause that's really where the strengths are at. Um, not a good song though. Not a good song for, for their types of voices and the type of singing that they do. Um, I'm glad my dude DJ won in the end. I think his voice, um, is just amazing, incredible range. Uh, there is no ceiling to that voice. It's amazing. He can do so many great things with that. I mean, he can run all over the place, but he also does musical theater, which means that he can sustain a note too. Like it's not just the runs and the riffs, the blues and the R and B. My dude's got classical training and can, can sit there and hold out a note forever. And, you know, we have, you haven't seen, you haven't seen what he can do yet. Uh, and I'm glad that he's going to stick around to be able to show more sides and more depth of, of what DJ can do. I'm, I'm glad that he stayed around. Um, good job, John. Good pick, sir. Good pick, sir. Um, loved it. Awesome. Um, awesome performance. Not a good song for them to sing now on, on the other side of that. Wonderful performance, great energy, great electricity, great playing to the uh, the crowd, great great showmanship. Um, loved it, and I cannot wait to see what my guy does in the next round. I don't really know what the knockouts mean, but put your boxing gloves on. You know what? Go bare knuckle. Go bare knuckle and knock somebody out. Let's go. If you guys enjoyed my reaction, please make sure that you subscribe to the... Why can't I say that word? <laughs> if you guys enjoyed my reaction, make sure that you subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, make sure notifications are turned on. You do not want to miss out on future reactions. Check out the description box below the video. You'll see links to all of our social media. Check those out. Give us a follow. Drop your comments in the comment section. Do you think that John got it right? Did DJ win? Do you think Ephraim should have won? And do you think someone should have stolen Ephraim right there at the end? Let me know your thoughts on everything that you just heard. I look forward to seeing your comments. Hope you guys are having a wonderful Wednesday. Thank you so much for taking a few minutes out of your day to hang out with me watching The Voice. I appreciate each and every one of you. Earlier today, there was an SB19 get to performance from the Billboard Philippines. Go and check out that reaction. Those boys lit it up. Lennon and Tanner, I did my reaction to their battle earlier today. Go and check that out. Thank you for watching this. Come back tomorrow and then after that too, more videos each and every day for you guys. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you being here. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I will see you very soon on the next one.